In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you an easy way of how to whiten eyes and teeth in Photoshop. And I'm going to be using two methods. Uh, that is the camera roll adjustment brush method. And I'm going to be using the hue saturation in Photoshop itself. And if you don't have camera roll in your Photoshop, if you don't have the plugin, uh, you'll have to opt for the one for using the hue saturation and using your brush to paint over the white area of the teeth or the eyes so this tutorial is about eye and teeth whitening and if you haven't subscribed this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and yeah before i can go ahead this image was taken by a photographer is called dream splash photography and yeah this was part of his retouching challenge and yeah i'm going to show you guys how to quickly whiten the eyes and teeth in photoshop and i'm running from this photography and welcome to this channel and if at all you are learning something from this channel don't forget to subscribe so let me go in and start showing you guys how you can whiten the eyes and teeth in Photoshop. So usually when I'm going to uh, do my retouching or editing or any step in Photoshop, I prefer to first of all duplicate the background layer. It can be like my backup, so I prefer to duplicate it. Just, just click on it and drag and drop here. Or you can simply click or press Ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate it. So come right down here and uh, click on you, your hue saturation panel. So when you click on it, it will uh, bring this uh, this little box. And so what you're going to do, remember, uh, the eyes uh, have some kind of color. So what we do first, uh, we kind of uh, re uh, remove the saturation from the overall image. Let me zoom out. As you can see, when you, uh, when you reduce the saturation, uh, the image kind of turns black and white, but our emphasis is on the eyes. So you can see the eyes are losing the color right now. And now what I prefer to do is, uh, when I'm in the master, I prefer to just come and uh, pull my the slider to the hue side. You can see when you pull it all the way it becomes blue and you don't want your eyes to be blue so just uh, don't pull it uh, all the way just keep it somewhere as you can see just uh, drag it until you see uh, according to your screen uh, you see the eyes are really turning white and the teeth so uh, this is too much because we are now getting uh, red the red color in the teeth of the model so I feel this is too much so leave it there then you can come and pull down uh, the saturation a little bit more so you can see now we have that white color in the eyes and teeth so uh, the color which was initially here the red and the yellow let me show you guys the color uh, some yellow and red brownish color which was in the eyes and the orange color in the teeth uh, is now gone when we do this so uh, make sure this is selected this right here is selected and click ctrl i on the keyboard to invert so what this does it uh, resets the image to the default so we'll get a black mask and when you come right here you can see these two boxes black and white so when you click on it uh you'll you'll reset it to default so when you are going to paint on this black mask make sure white is on top come and select your brush make sure the opacity is at 100 and the flow is at 100 so we are going to zoom in and paint over the white area only the white area remember we had desaturated the image in photoshop by turning down the saturation so we are going to paint over the white area of uh, the eye and make sure you uh, resist from painting over this area because uh, the eye may not look natural enough so just paint over only the white area so you can even enhance these little little catch lights in uh, the model's eye so come and paint over the second eye too so you have to really be careful if at all you want uh, the best from uh, this method so just come and paint 
and guys if you're learning a new thing or if at all you knew this uh don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching this video so you can see the before and after for the eyes let me zoom in all the way for you guys so so that you can see the before and the after for the eyes i'm sorry about that so this is the before after before after you can see the eyes are whitened now so you can come down right to the teeth and when you're doing this make sure you paint each uh individual tooth so that you uh you don't mess up on the colors on the the gums of the model so just come and start painting over uh these the the individual tooth the white part make sure you're really careful and you uh you uh you resist from painting over the the gums of the model because we don't want to desaturate them from the original color as you can see i'm doing this really really fast because i want this tutorial to be uh, a short one i don't want it to be so long like the usual retouching uh, tutorials i've been uploading on this channel so i really want this uh tutorial to be uh to take a little while so that you guys can not be bored by the uh, usual chit chatting in the uh, long tutorial so uh i think sorry you can perfect this so i want to show you the before and after for the teeth before after before after you can see the teeth are really white now so if at all you feel like this is too much for your liking just come and reduce on the opacity click down here and you can reduce by sliding it this way so if at all you feel this is perfect for you you can just check the before after before after so you can see how you whiten the eyes and teeth in photoshop easily and quickly uh, without any stress so this has been uh, just using the hue saturation uh, in photoshop itself if at all you don't have camera roll so now the second method uh, is going to be uh, the camera roll method so i'm going to delete this so the second method you're going to be using camera roll and as usual i'm going to delete this layer so we are going to start by duplicating the background layer by clicking ctrl j on the keyboard then come right here to filter if at all you have your camera roll filter uh, in your photoshop click on camera roll filter and it will start uh, to load so when it loads and make sure you click on the eye area so this is where just click on the hand tool if at all you want to move uh make sure uh this is uh your image you have zoomed in so you click on this this is your adjustment brush sorry i don't have a slip of the tongue this is your adjustment brush in photoshop and it is done you are going to use to paint over the eye area of the model which you would like to whiten so click on it so when you click on it usually uh, i would like to let me i would like to reset yeah i would like to reset this brush because uh, it was uh, in the initial uh steps i usually use for whitening so i'll show you guys how i really do it so uh, you can see these are the normal sliders for our brush so what we do first is uh we are going to pull the temperature down like to around negative 28 then come to the tint remember we want to add uh, a beautiful fill and we don't want to put greens remember the eye has some kind of green color in it uh pull down your uh pull up your tint to around uh 68 we'll do for this image make sure the exposure is at zero so when you come and the contrast is at zero when you come to the highlights pump them a little bit because we want the uh, this to pop and come to your whites and also pump them so I'll, I'll put my highlights at five and my whites at four so the now the other good method is uh you come to your saturation remember what we did 
uh, in our first method we use the hue saturation and in that method we turn down the saturation so i'm going to turn the the saturation down to around a uh, negative 73 will do and now the brush is ready to be used for our eye whitening so just zoom in and uh you start painting over the white area of the eye uh, to desaturate it or whiten it so just a uh, paint over and uh, make sure when you're painting over uh, you paint over at once yeah you shouldn't uh, select the adjustment brush again because it may end up applying the effect yet again on the white area of the eye so uh, to zoom out uh, just click ctrl and the minus to zoom out your image so get your zoom tool and as click keep on clicking on the second eye it will be like this or you can use ctrl plus to zoom in the eye area and if at all you want to move just move use your hand tool so click on your adjustment brush again remember the settings are still there and paint over the white area of the eye so if at all you're watching and you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe this channel and if at all you are learning a new thing from this video uh you can drop a comment in the comment section so we are now coming to our teeth you can zoom in yeah uh, you can left click and uh zoom in the area by dragging to zoom all the way in and now get your brush and to increase or decrease your brush size use your brackets on the keyboard so uh, you start painting over uh, that area and remember like we did in our first method just paint over the white area and uh, you resist from painting over the the gums because we are, we, you may end up desaturating them and it won't look nice or natural at all so uh for these glamour portraits make sure you do it that way you can also paint uh over these little little details so you can see this is uh this is it for the eye whitening so what you do remember it may over be applied it may be too much for your liking don't worry just uh, click ok and you'll be back right here so after that just come to the opacity remember it is one of the reasons as to why we we duplicated this so just come and reduce on the opacity of this layer so uh to the one of your liking so this is the before after before after so this method has uh, this tutorial sorry has been about how to whiten eyes and teeth in photoshop and we have used the um, the hue saturation plus our brush and we have used camera raw for the second method and we used the adjustment brush in photoshop i'm ronis from ronis photography and if at all you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on new videos every time we upload to this channel till next time